Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's write some more lead code today. Today we are solving domino and trimino tiling. So the problem states that we will have two type of piles, a domino shape and a trimino shape, in which they will look like this and we can rotate them however we want. And we will be given an integer n and then we want to return the number of ways that we can tile a two by n board, which means it will be two rows and n columns. And since the answer can be very large, we need to return the modulo 10 to the 9th plus 7. So if you look at this example, when n is 3, we can tile the 5 ways, which are shown over here. So that's why we return 5. So now that we have seen some examples, let's get to how we can solve this problem. So one way that we can solve this is we can use dynamic programming with recursion. So I will show some samples and then we can figure out the recursive formula. So for one, we can form one way. When n is two, we can form two ways. When n is three, we can form five ways. And when n is four, we can form 11 ways. So this is the main recursive formula that we will be using. And then we will also need this right here because of the P function right here. So F will stands for if the column is fully filled and P is if it is partially filled. So right here, these are the columns that are fully filled. And if we look at this column right here, it will be partially filled if we don't include this terminal tiling. So for the f function, 1 and 2 will be our base cases. So if it is 1, we return 1. If it's 2, we return 2. So right here, these two will be our base cases. And for our p function, the base case will be if n is equal to 2, then we will return 1. So if we look right here, n is equal to 2, where at column 2 is partially filled. So then we will return 1. But then we multiply by 2 over here because for every partially filled column there's always a way to mirror it and for the recursive case of p it will be p of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 because if we can look at a larger example the only way to keep it a partially filled column will be either to involve a horizontal domino or will it be involving a tromino so that is why this is the recursive case so now if we look here using this formula when n is equal to 3 f of n minus 1 is basically f of 2 and as we can see based on these two we can just add one vertical domino to it and f of n minus 2 is basically f of 1 which is right here and we just add two horizontal dominoes and then the p where it is partially filled column would be right here covering this case right here so now let's go over this example when n is equal to 4. So first we will need f of n minus 1, which is f of 3. And if we derive it down, we know that's equal to 5. And as we can see, there are five ways where we just add one vertical domino. And now we have f of 2, and that is a base case. We know that it's equal to 2. And as you can see, there are two ways where we just add two horizontal dominoes. And now we have this case where the column is partially filled. And we see that there's one way where it can be filled with a horizontal domino and one way where it's partially filled with a tromino. And then we need to multiply by 2 because there's a way to mirror them. So that is why it's equal to 4. And as you can see, if you add them up, there will be 11 ways to tile a 2 by 4 board. So the time complexity would be O of n because we have to recurse from n all the way to the base case. And the space complexity will also be O of n because we will be using caching and it can take up to n space. So now let's get to the coding part. So first we will set up the mod value. So 10 to the 9th power plus 7. Now we will set up the cache for the partial and for the full, so I just call it n cache. And we will define the full function first. So if n is less than or equal to 2, then we just return n. Otherwise, if n happens to be in cache, then we will just return what's in the cache. So return n cache, n cache of n. And now we can use the formula. So f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 plus 2 times p of n minus 1. And then we can return whatever that is. So n cache of n. But now I need to write the formula for p. So define p of n. If n is equal to 2, our base case, then we return 1. And if n happens to be in p cache, then we just return what's in p cache. 
and and now we can use the formula for p so p of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 and then we can return p cache of n and finally we will return what's in f of n modulo by mod Let's see if it works okay perfect Thank you all for watching. Hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave in the comment section. And I hope to see you all again soon.